What the heck is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Snowbike Mike, back with a special edition of the Kind of Funny X-Cast. Yeah, that's right. No Gary Witta, but I've replaced him with WWE superstar Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed, the host of the world's number one video game YouTube channel, Up, Up, Down, Down. Also, the Kind of Funny, come in! And the new face of G4 is joining me today to play Gears 5 to celebrate the new day as playable characters in multiplayer. We are ready to bang off some walls. We are ready to shotgun some locust hordes together. Austin Creed, are you ready to bring the hype with me? Hey, hey, let me just let me pause right here. Hell of a job. Hell of an introduction. My my word. My word. You're mm. man. You. I'm Good impressed. Bro. We brought it. It's a special recording day. We're off cycle here. It's Saturday morning on the West Coast. My guy, Austin Creed, is eating a burrito, having a great Saturday mm -hmm. afternoon with the family. And I said, hey, what better way to celebrate you and the New Day, Kofi Kingston, Big E, and yourself, the New Day in Gears, of Five, Gears of War 5, than just playing it together? What do you say? It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect oh. sense. It, it goes hand in hand. So I'm really excited to get into it. We're going to kick off with some versus mode so we can actually play as you and the new day i'll let you choose first are you gonna play as yourself or will always. you play as one of your two brothers there i will always play as myself oh my god okay well guess what kofi kingston and biggie i'm gonna channel you guys i'll play as you guys here <laughs> this is what i feel like when you're in a game where you look this good you have no choice oh you have no choice as yourself you just like it's it's my face it's my face and it's very strange especially because so we did what it is what's the number we did like over 700 lines to get all the stuff going and um there's a bunch of stuff that each of us just kind of threw in that i've definitely forgotten about and so there's at one point um you remember the whole uh can i get a oh yeah do you remember yeah. that uh -huh. so uh my three-year-old <laughs> we, we do that in the house i'm like hey man can I get a oh yeah? And he'll be upstairs and go, oh yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> we're doing this in the game. And at one point they're like, there's a there's a thing that says, oh yeah. And I, you know, I read it a couple of times and I'll go, oh, can I read it a couple more times? And I just threw in, oh yeah. And so the other day I was playing this and I'm like collecting stuff and uh, abilities. And at one point I click it and say, yeah, cool. Click it again, click it again, click it again. Oh yeah. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> they put that in the game for real? <laughs> That is a pretty special story right there. And that actually leads us into our first one. Let's talk about it. You and the crew are now in the game. You just said you recorded over 700 voice lines for this. What mm -hmm. was that like, especially in a COVID world where you weren't at the studio, right? You were probably recording it from home or on the road. What was that like for you and the whole team? So uh, I did mine on the road. So there is a, actually, we, we did do uh, the first couple of them in studio and then lockdown hit and then everybody took some time to figure out so months and months later once everything was uh everybody had a better mindset for things oh there we go look they loading up um we were we went to studios so i we each went by ourselves and there was like one tech in the room with us everybody's like tested for everything so it was like the most bare bones thing and normally when you're recording stuff like that there's a bunch of people in the room and you can like get feedback and like you might like see like a giggle or see like something that tells you okay cool keep going down this route when you've only got one person in there it's like oh it's just it's just kind of it, it's fine but it took a second to get used to um i say i'd like to say we were in the studio <laughs> and it's crazy just thinking about and sorry now, now i'm like looking at the game uh it's crazy thinking about the fact that I've played this game for years, like since the first one, and now we're standing in the booth running lines for it. And so it's like a very surreal experience. And then also like the triple whammy is you then hear them once you're, like after months of doing them, it's like, oh yeah, that was cool. Like this is eventually gonna come out to so your psych, but then you actually experience it for real. And it's like, man, this might be like the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. And I don't, I don't know how, how to get higher than this. That is a pretty special moment right there, especially because, you know, our former co-host, Alana Pierce, she's in this game as well in the campaign. And it's really cool to see the additions they've made on the multiplayer side, right? You're joining the likes of Terminator, of the Halo Spartans, Dave Batista, and now the New Day. I mean, pretty cool stuff to be up in that kind of group right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very intense. And uh, 
being a pro wrestler, I'm a very huge fan of Dave Batista myself. So once I heard he was in the game, I was equally happy and jealous, and then immediately felt way better because I was like, oh man, cool, I get to be you know, on a squad with Batista. This is awesome. Well, let's let's hold for Batista for just a moment. Is he going to be Marcus Phoenix in the movie? Right? He's got to be, right? He's got to be. He has to be, right? There's, he is Marcus Phoenix in real life, right? Yeah, He's I don't the know guy. What to put in like for it, you know. Now we got to talk about you recording lines, and you know you are the host of the world's number one video gaming YouTube channel, Up Up Down Down. Make sure to go like, share, subscribe on that channel. So you're really accustomed to recording and having fun. What about Big E and Kofi Kingston? What did they say about getting in the game and recording these lines? Was that different for them? Oh yeah, no, so so Kofi's big into video games, E is big into some games as well. Um, and so for them, uh, it was just a very intense experience from going to uh, have a random conversation with me. And I go, hey, you guys wanna be in Gears 5? <laughs> oh my God, what? Yes. And so uh, that's one thing that I like about our group is even though, yeah, I'm the guy who's like, uh, I guess like the face of like doing video game stuff currently, like with WWE, like everybody loves video games. I just happen to be the one who like runs a YouTube channel, you know? Um, so it's always, it's, it's for, for me, it's cool to see everybody still kind of have that kind of love just cause it's not as intense and as crazy and like back flippy insane as my love is for it. Um, everybody does have a passion for all of this stuff. And so it's nice to see all of that come together when we get to be a part of stuff like this. That's really awesome. Now, you got to share one of your favorite lines, as you talked about before. What about Big E and Kofi Kingston? Have you heard their lines? And do they have a special line that you love the most? Um, I don't know. N none, none of them have made me just, like, laugh, like, for real. It's Because uh, a lot of it is stuff that they just say regularly, like, in real life. So it's that's weird for me, too. Because... Then I'm playing a game and I'm hearing their voices in the way that I'm used to hear. Dang it, I just got popped with a natural. <laughs> um, uh, I'm hearing their voices. And I'm like, oh, wait, are we, like, are they on the like, comms with me? Are they playing? And I'm like, no, 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 those, that's the game. That's, the game. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's awesome to hear. And now over this past year, you have been recovering after a big time injury. You've made your way back into the ring. What was that like during that recovery process of, being at home, were you playing a lot of games? And what game were you playing? Oh, I was playing tons of games. Uh, after I got past my, uh, oh, and I got popped again. Um, after I got past my spiraling depression from not knowing if I'd ever be able to uh, wrestle again, much less, uh, you know, dance with my kids in the kitchen anymore. Uh, that was a that was a rough, rough time. But uh, once, once I got a little bit past it mentally and I started being able to do stuff again, AKA play games, um, I was trying to get through a backlog of everything that I hadn't had a chance to play. I'll rephrase that. Everything that I chose to stop playing to play the next thing. <laughs> and we win. Yeah, that um, was a good win right there for the cog. Yes. So I was trying to go through a backlog, but still trying to stay on everything new. So like, <sighs> there's nothing that really, okay. So I was playing uh, Final Fantasy VII, so the remake. Um, I'm trying to think what came out this year because I, I have such a strange concept of time. I mean, I have no concept of time. <laughs> I don't think many of us have concepts of time anymore is right. So I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of trapped inside the house for too long. Yeah, I'm thinking like, yeah, I was playing a lot of Tekken 7, but that definitely didn't come out in 2020. Oh, uh, come on. Um, so any 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 type of, oh, he knows I'm there. And I'm coming there behind go. him right now. Okay. Oh, I missed. Come on. They just, what, what? Nope. Oh, of course, nice, get him. Okay, pop one. Okay. We got a torque bow out there, nice. Okay. Oh, I missed him. Oh, come on, dude. How about the new consoles? Have you been playing the new PS5 or the new Xbox oh. Series X or S? I've been playing both of them. Sorry, I'm so into this right now with this firefight. Good, that's um, what I wanted you to be, is yeah. get into this, is right. I've been playing both of them. Um, you know, so it's weird. I got the PS5, I turned on Spider-Man for two seconds, 
and Spider-Man is one of the few games that, or oh, the previous one that was on PS4, one of the few games that I've like 100%ed. Um, it's like that, Far Cry 5, and then some other stuff. Um, but, uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Um, but I knew that once I started playing Spider-Man for real, that I wasn't gonna stop. And I still hadn't finished Ghost of Tsushima. So I, I let myself live stream Spider-Man and told myself I'm not gonna play any more of it until I'm done with Ghost. And then, in the middle of trying to get done with Ghost, and I am got popped again, uh, in the middle of trying to get done with Ghost, my friend was like, oh, you should try the multiplayer. So we did a stream of the multiplayer in Ghost of Tsushima, and I was like, wow, this game itself is worth $60. My god. And so then we just played the multiplayer every night, which stopped me from playing the actual game, which meant I was never going to get to Spider-Man because multiplayer never ends. And so it's... I feel like everybody understands these problems, these issues, and they have them as well. Um... But that's that's what's been going on with me. That's my reality. Is I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima on PS5 every night, and I'm never gonna be done with it. <laughs> that is impressive. All right, so some Ghost of Tsushima, and especially the multiplayer, you're giving a big shout out. Yes. Is dope. That's awesome. And yeah, so, are you raid ready in that game? Then did you do the raid? Did you participate in that? What'd you think? No. So I'm I'm like three levels away from being okay. able to raid. Um. And my friends all make fun of me because they're like, oh, we've been ready for weeks. And I'm like, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a couple of things to do. <laughs> um, so I haven't done the raid yet, but they all have them. They're waiting for me. So we're probably going to do it like within within the next like, two or three days. Okay. All right. I like hearing that. Another one for you. We talked about the injury and now you've come back into the ring, right? What was that mm -hmm. moment like when you first stepped back in after that injury? How did you feel to be alongside your tag team partners as well? Oh, I felt awesome being uh, back alongside Kofi and E because I just hadn't seen them for so long uh, at first. So just to be back uh, at work in general was crazy. Uh, and the fact that our work is so physical, it's uh, I think it might be kind of hard to explain to somebody who uh, if, 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 if you've never like trained wrestling before, there's something about like the falling down and the pain that starts to like feel good. After you okay. do it for X amount of time, um, and I don't know if it's like your body is just used to getting beat up, so it's like your own personal chiropractor every couple of days or what, but um, when you stop, your body starts to have this weird ache until you start wrestling again, or until uh, you're either out long enough or you start wrestling again. And so I was luckily past that point, obviously, because I've been out for so long. Come on, come on, nice. Oh, nice kill Got right him. there. Okay. You're all alone. It's just you. Everybody's I know, watching I hear you now. I hear, they're on me. They're on me. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, I. Yeah. I didn't. It was a good one on four. You know, you tried your best right there. You did good. <sighs> that wasn't happening. Um, and I completely forgot what I was talking about. That's all right. Well, so you make your you make your comeback now, oh, and yeah. of course, all the wrestling fans out there. I know all the Xbox fans saw it. You and the New Day show up in the Gears of War outfits. What was that like? Because that was a really cool scene to see. Sorry, my score is terrible. My God, just not even close to good. This is I'm I'm a horrid guy. Versus just eats me up. Um, so it's crazy coming back. It's crazy getting to one B in Gears Five, but then also to come out in the exact gear that we have on in the game. Like that whole process in itself is a it's a whole nother story for another day that is incredible. Um, but it, I don't know, it was scary. I was nervous, like all of the above, because for being out so long, especially with an injury like tearing your Achilles, um, it's like it's sometimes scary to like run just at all. So now to run full speed on camera, people can see me, people expect me to be fully healed. I expect me to be fully healed, but you never really know until you're doing it full speed for the first time. So like all of that was running through my head and then the cameras come on and it's like legit just like disappears and it all goes away and it just feels like, it feels like I didn't like miss a day. It's, it's wow. the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. That's awesome. I love hearing that. And of course we talked about the gear, right? You're a big cosplayer. I've seen so many of your awesome outfits that you've worn to different conventions for different holidays. What was that like getting the Gears of War outfit? Was that something you've always wanted or dreamt of? Or is this just totally new to you with that idea? The idea of like the outfit and, and being in Gears, like wasn't even like something that was in my brain that like as a possibility until 
uh, until Batista was in. And it's like, okay, well, maybe there's something that we could do here. And so at that point, yes, it was definitely something that was on my radar. It's like, I want to dress uh, as a part of the cog. Sorry, there's a leaf blower right next to my window. That audio sucks. Um, is it bad? No, not at all. You're fine. Okay. All right. Uh, so in my head, it's like, yeah, if we can come out as part of the cog, like, that would be absolutely insane because we've had the opportunity to do so many other cool things as far as like <laughs> Kofi and E uh, just defaulting and allowing me my cosplay wants and needs <laughs> on that, television. That's some ride or die homies. That's awesome yeah, for them doing yeah. that. Yeah, heck yeah. So it uh, it definitely is something that I've, I've come to uh, expect to want from myself. Anytime I see the opportunity to get in some sort of new type of cosplay situation and show it off on television like that's exactly what i'm trying to do so uh so yeah yeah definitely definite big goal once we knew it was within bounds that's cool as can be and the outfits looked stellar as can be of course and all of your outfits have actually been really incredible that you've cosplayed as what is the next big one that you want to do that you've been thinking about <sighs> there's so many but like the things that i want like aren't relevant to anyone or anything that's happening on like television at all and so I want to do something where we dress up as like 90s cartoon characters and I get to be Darkwing Duck. Ooh. Like, that, there's no reason for that. But if it's on somehow on television, someone creates a reason for that. Oh, they are all over us. They are all over us. Get Is off of me. Anything more satisfying than getting somebody with the Nasher shotgun? I mean, this thing is the real deal. I, so, okay, this is, I'm so torn on the Nasher because it's, it's, the Nasher is so nasty. Like, just if you if you're not rocking one, you're you're dead. Isn't that the truth, right? I've been playing yeah. with my friends, and I'm looking at them like, if you don't have the shotgun out, you're not even playing the game. You know, like yeah. I can't lancer anybody, I can't chainsaw oh. anybody. It's just shotguns or nothing here. No, they'll hit me with the thing. Oh, torque bow What's happening. I was just walking towards it with my chainsaw. So now as well, we're coming hot off of your incredible G4 campaign. I mentioned it in the intro. You are the new face, one of the new hosts of G4's return. Yes. What was that like? I mean, the campaign, all the Twitter videos, all the push, the hashtag and everything was awesome. What was that like to finally get the call up and make this official? Uh, it's, it's awesome because this is something that I've been trying to figure out how to do for a pretty long time. Like my uh, my foray into the gaming space uh, with a ton of help from uh, yours truly, Greg Miller. Uh, him being kind enough and people like him being kind enough to kind of take me under their wing and show me the ropes of like what works, what doesn't. Um, try doing this, don't do that. Uh, that's put me in this position where I can now, like I've built this life for myself, this chapter for myself after wrestling, which uh, is sometimes hard to do for people, you know? So, uh, oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. No, he got me. Ugh. Wow, just saw myself get stabbed in the yeah, face. Yeah, we just watched you get stabbed yeah. in the face. Is right. Yeah, that's the weirdest part about this is watching myself die over and over again. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, sometimes I feel like it's if hard for like people that, to, to start that second chapter, like once they're done with whatever their career sense. is, if it's you know in sports or music, whatever, what have you. Um, it's 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 weird and scary, and so I, I try to get ahead of the curve on stuff, especially stuff like that, because that's like my biggest fear of not knowing what to do next. And so uh, getting the gig at G four, it, it was um, it, it was the sign that told me I was making the right moves and pushing myself in the right direction and that this is something that I could definitely have a have a job in when I'm done wrestling and I don't have to worry that much anymore. Not not that I don't have to worry at all, but like I don't have I have less to think about. I, I wanted to go in games and now I this is like a, a huge confidence boost that yeah, the, the work that I've been doing has been for something and I'm I'm competent at this, I'm good at this and uh haven't noticed makes me feel good and like i said makes me feel like i'm moving in the right direction and doing the right things to try to get ahead heck yeah that's some really positive stuff right there and i really have a lot more to ask you on this front i mean of course g4 very special to a lot of gamers all around the globe and a, a special piece of gaming history what is a piece of g4 that you love from the old days that you're really excited that you you know you think about all the time 
I got asked this the other day, and I was like, uh, people probably have like all these like crazy memories. I just remember watching Code Monkeys like crazy. That was like my favorite sh thing <laughs> on the channel because I loved Attack of the Show, all that stuff, X Play. Uh, but Code Monkeys was my jam. <laughs> I think some people are going to smile at hearing that deep cut yeah. is right. That's a good one. Uh, so I'm hoping, I, obviously, I don't know, like, what all is going to be on the roster as far as, like, shows and all that stuff goes. But um, every every conversation that I've had with people over there has just been nothing but, like, happy and positive And, like, they want to do things right and make sure everybody enjoys it. And so, um, so it's cool to see people in the gaming space who, like, are gamers themselves and want to make sure, like, gamers have a... Have, 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 have another place they can kind of call home, you know, and build those communities that they want to build. That's really well said. It, it always felt like home, right? Coming home after school, after a long day, and knowing that you could turn on that channel and you're going to catch Attack of the Show. You're going to have some fun talking about video games. That was really special and something I feel is lacking, right? Like when we look at this space, YouTube and Twitch have become huge, but on that cable channel over there, right, you're just not getting the G4s like you used to that we all love as gamers. So that's really mm -hmm. special to be a part of. And for you, right, to be the next face of this, one of the hosts coming up, this is going to be really cool. And I actually think of one of our own here, Kind of Funny, right? The next face of video games, Blessing Jr., he mm. came into Kind of Funny and looked at Greg and said, hey, I want to bring back PS I Love You XOXO. And look at what they've done now. Look at the, what they've created. And we're yeah. excited to see the same thing with you here on G4 because it holds such a special spot in our hearts. Trying to, man. Well. Hopefully, hopefully, I, uh, I'm i not just trash and I don't just go in and completely bomb. Uh, but you never know. <laughs> as long as it's not just you and I playing Gears, then you're not going to be trash. Right now, we're not playing well for the people out there. But as long as it's not you and I just playing this, you're going to do just fine. <laughs> oh, man. It's getting massacred. Now, sticking with the video games, of course, we've got to talk about your incredible YouTube channel, Up, Up, Down, Down. You've done some really fun stuff over there. We're wrapping up 2020. What was one of your most memorable moments from 2020 here? Mm. Uh, so this wasn't this wasn't a good thing by any means. But uh, so there's a show that we had on our channel called Battle of the Brands. It was played by Tyler Breeze and myself every week uh it's from the uh smackdown versus rocky that's in six it's a general manager mode on there so uh once quarantine happened we started doing these uh gentlemen's breakfast and we would live stream whatever the pay-per-view was uh for that week that we were doing so it's like three or four weeks of uh Saran smackdown and then a pay-per-view so we'd live stream it with everybody like with a real show and you know everybody has breakfast and it was great so we finally get to a point where like we're in this crazy zone we have people that are currently on the roster uh put into the game so we've got like our friends are sending us like promos that we can add into the show so they're cutting promos against each other as if it's 2006 and that awesome. they're against each other in hell in the cell matches um we're almost done with the whole show we have we have the winner of this show gets to draft batista to their show and all of these crazy things are happening and the live stream was probably like 30 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes from being done. And my computer just restarts. And I was like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> but I had it on a laptop right here. And my computer is luckily the streaming computer didn't restart, but like the game with the game. So I was running like Parsec to get it to this computer to then live stream it. And so the computer restarted and I just like freaked out. Like, wait, what, what, what? Click my computer back on. We got back into the match. Cause I, had, I kept saving the state just to make sure. It restarted again and it did this like four times but like people are swimming into the channel because this the match that we have is if you're familiar with the wrestlers it's adam cole and billy k are having like a 10 star match and so we got like upwards of like seven thousand people like coming in when we're normally sitting at like four four thousand like people are flooding in to see this match and it keeps restarting and they stay with me for the whole 30 minutes of me trying to fix it and then i have to let them know that my computer just ate the whole file we have no more game. We were like seven months deep in this. And oh everything my is gone. Gosh. Everything is gone. We've been doing this total for like, at that point, like three years. We've been doing this game back and forth. And then I said, everything is gone, like on stream. And it was like the worst. It's It was so, it was so terrible. So it wasn't a good moment, but it's definitely the most memorable moment. Okay, the, not the, not the best moment, but at least you can look back on it right now with a little bit of a chuckle and a laugh. Oh that is a... Uh, 
that is the streamer problems, right? The gamer and streamer problems. You never know what could go wrong with all this equipment. It hurts. It hurts so bad. Now, since we've been in COVID and you, you've done some traveling, of course, with work and such, but like now that you've been home, we've seen your on the go setup. What is your at home setup like? Is it bigger, badder than ever before? Oh, yes. Yes. I got, I got, we got uh, what we call trip mons, triple monitors, <laughs> some trip mons going on. Um, uh, a fellow by the name of Jesse runs Power, Power GPU on uh, Twitter. He came over to my house um, and built a computer like right before all that stuff started um and so like it's this it's this nice like clean doors that i can see through so i can see all the lights as my computer turns on it's this just sexy computer with these triple monitors and i got all my gaming chairs set up i got these elgato lights i got all sorts of stuff i got this disgusting xlr mic with the blue icicle converter usb i mm, sound clean Woo! Oh my gosh, Austin Creed, you're getting me hyped over this setup right now. I can feel it. <laughs> oh yeah, so it's uh, it's been nice because I'm not. Uh, I keep saying I'm not, but like I tore my Achilles, so I was I was already at home, so I kind of had a head start on people with uh, with staying at the house, so I was fine. Oh come on, come on, and we're dead, ski. And nope, we're moving, we're moving. Okay, they got me. Okay. Yeah, so I was already in, like, just play video games when I'm at home mode already. Is there nothing cooler than this game with a packed lobby? I mean, this is getting wild right it's now so over insane. on this right-hand side. So I'm having so much fun. Along with oh, that, you and, I, you and I share a pretty cool mutual friend, Grand Pooh Bear. Now, yes. of course, Grand Pooh Bear looked at me last night as I was co-hosting the Fall Mania with him. And he said, well, you better tell him I say what's up. Because I know he loves you dearly. The true question on my mind, though, is where are you at Fall Mania? Why do we not have Austin Creed, Xavier Woods in Fall Mania running it up with the Fall Guys jelly? I don't know. I'll run it. I'll run it. Run it up? Okay. Yeah. Have you been playing some Fall Guys? What do you I'm think nasty. about this game for 2020? This is a great game, right? I loved it. So um, we, I've, I, last time I played was when Season 2 dropped. So I have been off for a minute. Uh, But... I uh, I got mad at season two because uh, those levels where you got to jump on the boxes to climb everything. Wall guys, yeah. Oh my God. How infuriating. How many times do I have to make this jump before you give it to me, huh? Huh? <laughs> How many I'm times do I have to put my little jelly bean arms up in the air to grab yeah. this lens right now? Come on now. Yeah. The stage is long enough as is. I don't need to dr drop these jumps nine times in a row too. Um, so that that had me mad for for a while. Um, That's good stuff. But uh, but I did like how they uh, bumped up all the team games and made them a little crazier. And so we we'll have to see if I if I still got my Fall Guys legs. But I was I was, I'd say like average. Okay. Okay. I, you were getting I, some crowns. That's all that matters. If you yeah, I some probably crowns. I probably got like between like twenty five and thirty five crowns. Like total, so not like a ton, but not none. That's all that matters. Not none is, <laughs> you know, a couple is better than none. Is right. I like that. Now this is the next Xbox podcast, you know, and I'm sure my audience now is going to go wild because we're not talking enough Xbox. Let's talk some Xbox. The brand new Xbox mm -hmm. is out. Did you were you able to secure one for yourself in the family? Yes, yes, I was. What are you running with the S, the X? What do you think? I got here. Hold on. I can get it right here. Oh, he's going to put it up on camera right now, y'all. He's my baby boy. Look at that. Thing. Oh, look at yeah. that. Oh, they my put, gosh. They put my name on it for me. Whoo! Everybody out there watching and listening, you better see this one right now. Okay, that's clean. Mm. Now, Whoa. what do you think about that big boy right in your arms? What do you think about I, that I, baby boy? I think my baby boy real strong. He real strong. Oh, and I think my baby boy uh, likes that Yakuza. Oh, like a dragon. Okay, yeah. yeah. But see, it's again, another game 
where I'm like, I need to play so much more of this. And they have a flamethrower. Perfect. Did you see that? Oh yeah, he lit me on fire right there. Watch out. Okay. I'm coming to get him. And I got popped. Um Yeah, it's very it's very strong. It's very strong. I am going to lose my mind if they for some reason I had a dream. And this is this might be off topic, but I feel like it might be on. So <laughs> I had a dream the other night that I woke up to go play my Xbox. And when I turned it on, you know how like you can see what to buy in the store? Yep. I saw uh, a new Sunset Overdrive. Man, you know what? That's not <laughs> off topic here in the Xbox world. Everybody knows okay. that's a gem right there. And, and if so they it, don't, they need to know. They Right, right. They got to. So I don't know. I'm, I'm excited for whatever like big new games come out, especially like in the next couple of months. Um, Cause you know how you when a system all. comes out, like the games that drop are good, uh, but they don't really figure out how to use everything, all that all that hardware, until like maybe like six months, eight months, ten months in. Now the games are like, wait a second, it can do this too? What? That's a hundred percent true. We had Jeff Grubb on the show yesterday, actually, for our latest podcast, and he was talking about right. We don't really see all of the love, the dev kits being sent out, these teams, the development teams, really finding the best ways to utilize the full power of this new Xbox architecture. So I can't wait to see what's next. But man, like you said, it's powerful. It's fast oh, yeah. too. I mean, that speed on the loading times of Yakuza, it's non-existent, Xavier Woods. No. What do you think about no. that? I have, Can I ask a question real quick? Can we exit and play the Daily Horde? Heck yeah, bro, let's do it. Okay. You ready? I'm gonna bring the squad yeah. with me. We're going for it. Okay, okay, dope. I we had to play as the new day. That's the rule. Can we play as the oh, new yeah. day in Horde yeah. mode? Yeah. Oh, then we're on. Let's do it. Yeah. Gary Witt is missing out. I'm gonna tell you what, he's missing out on this. We got removed from the game. Okay, so squad yep. leader left. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so you can play as us in versus Horde. Um, which is just something the campaign. Oh, okay, I'm in. Then we should be good. Yep, I'm joining it right now, I believe. Yes. Okay, sorry. What was your question? I forgot it now. Oh, I was just talking about Yakuza and how there was no load times and how crazy that feels, right? To be able to play oh, that yeah. and be jumping around so quickly is awesome. Dude, it's insane. And so, like I, like I was saying again, so like I got to the point where I could turn it on and like go through the intro and like, yeah, this is awesome. And then I had to go do other stuff. So like, again, Yakuza a game that I need to play because I want to get through all those mini games. Well, those oh, mini games. Mini games. So hilarious. What other games are you looking forward to, right? I mean, we got Yakuza here. You're playing mm -hmm. Gears 5. You're in Gears 5. Is there a certain game that you're looking at on the horizon, especially with Cyberpunk next week? Of course, yep. Halo Infinite waiting off in the wings. We mm -hmm. see Forza coming. We got a Fable announced over here on the Xbox side. What are some of those special games that you're looking forward to? I'm going to say 300% Fable. Woo! I love Fable. I need another Fable. And I haven't uh, sat down and played a game, like full out played, like I used to play games in a very long time, but I would sit down and play Fable. And so like, when I say sit down and like play for real, so if you've played, uh, let's say uh, a game like, like Dragon Age, you know, you can just like play it and go through the story or you can like, you can like play that game. Fable is a game that you can like play. And that's what I'm trying to do. Something that I'm not doing like on stream or to record, it's just for me. And I dump like 3000 hours into it. That's That's what I'm trying to do with a new Fable game. A lot of peers would be really happy you say that is right. I mean, I agree with you, right? Those are those type of games where I want to turn off the lights, put on my favorite headset. I don't yeah. want to have the stream going. I don't want to talk to anybody. I want to get immersed in this world. And I'm really excited to see what Playground Games has in store for us with this upcoming Fable. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so okay. ready. Okay, here's another one for you. Of course, okay. we have the rumor of the initiative, one of Microsoft's newest studios, possibly doing a reboot of Perfect Dark what does the Perfect Dark franchise mm. mean to you? Are you in on this? Are you out mm. on this? What do you want? I'm beyond in. Oh, I'm okay. beyond in. You know what would be dope, though? If, <laughs> and I would 100% buy this, so maybe this is just something that I want. So if when they if they made it, right, when they released it, if you could get the collector's edition, and the collector's edition is for whatever system it's on, they've made N64-style controllers to go with it. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. I know that Barrett loves the N64. He was just having Dunktober with Donkey Kong 64. I got my N64 right behind me, always hooked up. Yeah. That controller, iconic. 
I Dude, like it. It would be so sick. It would be so sick. But now I have to ask you a question. Lay it on me. So I assume you're a perfect dark guy as well. I, I am as well. I played it on the N64 with my little brother. It was a nice change up from Goldeneye at that time, if you remember, with the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. And then actually we got really involved in Perfect Dark Zero because it was one of the closer launch titles on Xbox 360 yeah. with online multiplayer. I mean, it was it was hitting back in the day for me. Yes. So my question is, Perfect Dark or Goldeneye? And 64 days. Are you ready for this? I'm going to go against the normal. I'm going to go with Perfect Dark because I loved the laptop gun. I thought that was really cool to throw it up there and uh -huh. have it as a turret. I loved the alien characters and such. So I'm going to go with Perfect Dark for me. How about you? I... So I feel like Perfect Dark is starting to get more love because people are trying to look at the games really hard now. And I will say... I. I spent more time on Perfect Dark, and I think I think it might be Perfect Dark for me too. Wow. Okay. I wasn't might ready be. for you to say that. I mean, it they're both be. very close. Let's make sure the audience knows. Golden Eye, Slappers only, no odd jobs or odd job only. You know. Oh, I gotta go back. Time, I switch. I gotta switch. I gotta switch. Gotta switch. I gotta go okay. back. I gotta go back to Golden Eye. I gotta go back to Golden Eye. Oh, he's going back, man. See, I, I got him all hyped up. Okay. Tell, when tell you, me when what you got to this. Slappers only, dude. Come on, Slappers only. Golden Gun only. only. Paintball mode. There were some really cool moments yeah. in GoldenEye and with Perfect Dark, you know. Yeah. I, I got to give some love to that. They definitely had cool moments. But slappers only. Odd job. I was trying to think of just... this is And this is you'll think I'm ridiculous for this. I was trying to think of uh, just like the actual game, not even the multiplayer. When you when you think about the multiplayer, it's just, it's not that's not really a question, I don't think. It's, it's tough. When you bring in multiplayer, you kind of forget everything else, right? But that fun, futuristic story of being Joanna Dark and having the co-op split screen at the time where you could have your little brother come join you, that was pretty special back in the day, too. Now, since we're on N64 and you brought up the controller, and that means something to me, what's the best N64 controller color? What's the one you want? Want to let me pick him up? Oh, did I freeze? You froze for a moment, is right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to pick this guy up, but he won't let me. <laughs> okay, he's just, okay. You're just gonna crawl and die. I'm very confused. Am I, I in the game? Dead. I think you might be a little bit behind us. Or oh, something. oh, maybe. Yeah. I was just saying, we're we're on the wave in between right there since you 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 stuttered for a minute. Oh. Let yikes. us know if you kick back on. If not, we'll restart. Okay. We're only on wave. We're only on wave two. We got plenty of time. Okay. I was very confused why he wouldn't let me pick him up. <laughs> Are you still in right now? Yeah, he's still crawling. All right. He, craw he crawled across the entire stage. <laughs> well, we do have a Dave Batista in our game. I'm rocking Kofi right now. I know you're playing as Here. yourself, but that's I'm gonna, pretty awesome. I'm going to quit the main menu and then try to join your... your All right, game. see if you can join us. If not, yeah, we'll yeah. restart it. That's right. While yeah. you do that, though, I asked you, I want to know what your favorite controller color for the N64 controller is. What's oh, the, the uh, color for you? The, the, that clear green. Oh, the Donkey Kong Jungle yeah, 64. Yeah, yeah great. Totally, oh, I like that one. Totally, dude. That one's so great. Okay, I can join. Yeah. What's yours? Now, I gave that one to my little brother. I still have the system right behind me, but my favorite, mm. the all gold. The golden yellow was oh, my favorite, yeah. actually. Yeah. That was a pretty clean one. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I'll never forget it. Mom had the red one. Dad had the blue. Little brother had the Donkey Kong jungle green, and I had the gold one. It was a great time. <laughs> you never forget that. I'm pretty sure I still have them somewhere in the closet. You know that. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Now, sticking with some fun old favorites, of course, Microsoft and Rare have teamed up and created Sea of Thieves. I'm a big Conkers fan. Conkers mm -hmm. or Banjo? Who do you want to come back as the mascot? platformer of course i continue to uh, preach here on the podcast uh, it, um, it's either or it's tough right i mean you got conquer for the like deadpool kind of mature yeah. rated gameplay and jokes and then of course you know banjo's suitable for all all, all audiences nothing beats the bird and the bear they're just so much fun together yeah i i think i have to go banjo because like I'll play video games, but we got to make sure this stuff stays alive. And so that means we got to have something for the kids who don't know this yet. We got to always think right about there. the future, you know? So if we don't have, if we have Conquer, yeah, I'm happy. But eventually I'm going to 
I'm gonna I'm gonna die eventually. I mean, you only you only people still play these video games. You better have something for kids. Uh, <laughs> have you been playing some Sea of Thieves? Have you jumped into that at all? Of course, as that continues to surge in popularity and have some great add-ons. Have you jumped no. around and explored the seas with your friends? I haven't. I Ooh, have. Sat, okay. I've sat and listened to a ton of stories about my friends who have done it and why I need to do it, and I just haven't jumped in, unfortunately, yet. But I did get a chance. I, I like I know the game, and I watch people stream it a bunch, and I've just watched my friends play it, and it's hysterical. Um, but we got the chance to go uh, to their studios and see uh, how they made a bunch of the stuff in the game, especially like a lot of. I'm into like sound design, and uh, so they're showing us how they made a bunch of the sounds uh, when you're on the islands, and uh, just like really cool, really down to earth uh, crew people that are over there. And so, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Pretty wild experience too. They're just like, yeah, you want to come to the studio? Like, yeah, uh, yes, please. I would very much enjoy that. And you're a guy who's traveled around. You've seen a lot of awesome moments, a lot of awesome places. What other cool studio visits? Or, of course, I'm going to bring up E3 2019, right? You were there showing off the escape mode with Gears 5. I I'll never forget. I was yeah. in the audience there. What other awesome moments do you remember or places that you love to go to? Mm, getting to do, go to, I got to go to Gamescom. Uh, was it two years ago, I believe? So went to Gamescom, and then the next day, while Gamescom was still going on, went to Insomnia, um, both overseas, uh, you know, gaming conferences. Uh, and so probably th those, just because I'm trying to think of like new experiences that I've that I've gotten that chance to have. There's like there's so many, there's so many cool ones. Um, but I really had a good time uh, going to those and just being at gaming conferences in different countries. Uh, just another thing where it's like, hey, wait, is this really happening right now? Do I really get to do this? This is <laughs> what, what is awesome. happening in life right now? Heck yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I love that. Of course, gaming is universal, right? It's worldwide. Everybody loves it. And that's cool. You can share the passion and the fun around the globe when you get to go oh, see yeah. all these other fans everywhere. That's pretty cool right there. You gonna put this down right now? There we go. Yeah. Come on. Now we have to talk some more Xbox, of course. Xbox mm -hmm. Game Pass. Is this the best deal in gaming that you've ever seen? What's up what about Game Pass? Dude, so with people that have uh what, Game Pass Ultimate, they download or they could have downloaded, I don't know when this comes out, but uh I think it ended on December fourth, so uh that means that you could download me, Kofi, and E for free if you had Game Pass Ultimate. And then looking at it. I was like, wait, I can play all these other games? I'm like, that one's in my backlog. That one's in my backlog, too. So is this one. So is that one. It's like, oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> is, isn't that the coolest? Yes, you guys were part of the perk system is right. We got to get you guys essentially with our subscription instead of paying $20 for the bundle, which was really special for mm -hmm. a lot of fans. I know a lot of my friends love you, love the new day, and they were pretty pumped up about getting that with their Game Pass Ultimate subscription, which was awesome to see. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's just uh, it's another thing to like say like, oh, did you ever think that you'd be part of like a promotional DLC pack for a game that you're obsessed with? Oh, having a sweet sweet day. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty awesome day over here. That's yeah. right. I like that. What other games have you discovered on Game Pass? Because as we've talked about, right? Yeah, sure, it's COVID, but you are a traveling guy, and now you have the opportunity to. You know, play on your Android device via cloud gaming with Game Pass. You can play on your PC. You can play on your Xbox. What's that like for you with so much going on in your life? It's crazy. And I'll be honest, of the games that I'm playing, like, I've been playing Gears. Like, I was already playing it like it was my job. But now that I'm in it, like, this is literally what I'm playing. <laughs> I'm going to save you, dude. Woo. Got him. Boom. Uh. There we go. Now we're playing. Now we're playing. Another really cool one when you guys were coming out in your New Day gear, you had that awesome trombone with the Lancer chainsaw at the end. Yes. What was that like to carry that around? That was pretty cool looking. Okay, so for the people that don't know, in the world of wrestling, I uh, carry a trombone. I wield a trombone. Her name is Francesca. Hello? Did my... You guys no, you're stuttering. here. I can hear you. Oh, yeah, okay. you're great. I don't know. It's, all my stuff is stuttering for some reason. Anyway, okay. Um, so my trombone's name is Francesca, and 
WWE, we just or try to be as PG as possible. So we're like, okay, what can we do instead of like a huge uh, Lancer? It's like, oh, what if we change, like add a tr- chainsaw to my trombone? They're like, oh yeah, we could do that. I was like, wait, you really can? And then I got to see her and somebody, <laughs> somebody on Twitter. Yeah, it yeah it's, so, it's so ridiculous. Somebody on Twitter was like, hey, you should name her uh, uh, Lan, yeah, Lan- Lancesca. Lancesca is like, good. Lancer Francesca. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm into this. Where's he going? No, I'll, we're going to get him. The Sire. Bye. Woo! So I don't I don't use any bullets in the horde mode. No, no bullets, but you just melee in only and you're lancering people in half? I like that. No, I so my cards that I have make it so I can tackle people. Okay. And it lights them on fire. <laughs> oh. So here, I'll try to find you and kill somebody in front of you. Yeah, I'm gonna come right next to you right now. Wait. Where's the guy, last guy? Oh, he's over here. Oh, there you are. Look at the gold coming off of you right there yeah. as well. That's awesome. Oh yeah, look at that That's... big shoulder bash. That's yeah. cool looking. But it just burns him. And so I kill everybody in one hit. And okay. after I kill the first person, then I get a shield. And then I have a card that I take like 30% less damage if I'm sprinting. So I can just run into everybody shooting at me. Man, you got to give some love to this development team for making you guys look so good, right? I mean, even your Lancer is customized out with the New Day colors here. Like, you guys look good in this. We do, and they're crazy. So, like, if you look over on my shoulder, on my right shoulder, there's the Up, Up, Down, Down logo. Yeah. So here on, okay. the, on the back, on the back yep. there. Look at that. That's awesome. What detail. Oh, yeah. that's a cool one right there. And, it, and it's dope because they just hit me up. They're like, hey, is there anything, like, that you would want on your – on your guy that we might not have on there already. And uh, I was like, hey, this would be kind of cool if you guys wouldn't mind doing this. Uh, and then the next time I saw it, it had it on there. It's like, mm, you guys are really good at what you do. This looks incredible. <laughs> That's a special moment. How yeah. much input did you have on this then? You know, did you go back and forth with the team? How much conversations were you a part of customizing and setting yourself up in this game? Uh, I mean, the team is pretty awesome. They had everything. Kind of set so it wasn't like a, a crazy amount of back and forth uh but just kind of that final pass of like hey these look are they like are these to y'all's liking and it's like yeah there's like nothing to change at all like this is incredible and they're like okay cool and so that was kind of it wow that's like, pretty had, awesome yeah had we been like ah, i want to change this or that like they're so awesome they would have done anything that we asked them to do um but they did an incredible job and like with the first pass like there was nothing to change or nothing to do and let's keep it locked in with gears of course you said you've played a lot of gears in your day so honestly mm-hmm. truly who is your favorite gears character throughout all of the stories and all of the awesome lore that we've built up with this franchise oh oh i don't remember her name um so in the books I have to go back and play the other gears again. I don't remember if, if they talk about her in in the games at all, but um, she's she's like very influential to Marcus in like the, is it the first book or the second book, and I think she was his com- and she's the only one who know the history of like of him and his friend before he passed. Like the the books, I, I highly recommend. I can't remember her name, and it's it's killing me. But I think she's my favorite character in the gears verse. Okay, okay, nice little cut right there. I will make sure to check out the books because I've been all over the Halo books lately. Oh, uh, yeah. In anticipation of Halo Infinite, and I've been loving the Halo books. Oh. And this tap is going down. Nice. Oh, yeah, you're crushing that guy. Okay, it's not me. One guy. That's not me. That's not I'm you? Not that, that, no, I guess that's the else. team then. That's some. Oh, oh, God. I got you. Thank got you for the pickup. Don't, Don't worry about that. Now, and I'm going to say my favorite character, Coltrane. I mean, who doesn't Coltrane's love fantastic. Coltrane energy in Coltrane's their life? Right? He's a legend. He's, yeah, a legend. he's a legend. He's my hero. Coltrane, dude. baby. Coltrane, baby. That's exactly right. Coltrane. Oh, my God. I love when you uh, 
when you find out when you start going more down his story and uh is it was it was it gears four when they went to or gears three when they go into the store and there's all the Coltrane merchandise everywhere. Yes, like exactly. The uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing that I've seen in the game. So good. Now, with you being in Gears, of course, what's next, right? What's the next dream franchise video game that you would want to be put into? I want to be put in... Um, I can't remember the, the name of the company, but um, they make... Uh, um, like... Uh, uh, why is it killing me? Uh, Until Dawn, all those games. Yeah. Okay. Super massive games. Uh huh. Dude, yes. Yeah. Yes, dude. I those are I think my favorite types of games. Um, those choose your own adventure type of things. Love uh, that. I I don't know what it is, but if I could be a character in one of those games where you get to either try to keep me alive or see a brutal death come my way, I would I would pee my pants. I would pee all inside my pants with happiness. You you got a big smile on my face because I love the new Dark Pictures Anthology games. I love the idea of what they're building there. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see you in there. I try to keep you alive. I like that. Dude, oof. I need it. I need it. There's a, <laughs> there's a new one. I can't remember what it's called. I bought it and then uh, haven't tried a chance to play it yet. Uh. You don't get off of this. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You gotta believe is a good line right there. I like that one. It's from Parappa. I didn't know they put that one in there either. <laughs> what did you think of the escape mode that they added into this game? Of course, I talked about it. You showed it off at E3 with Microsoft during mm -hmm. the E3 conference. Like, what did you think of this game mode being added into the game with escape mode? Dude, escape mode's wild. Um, and it's funny because I was trying to like run the dailies uh, the other day. And so if you don't play Gears, you need to, first of all. Uh, but you have dailies you can run of like the horde mode. And the horde mode changes up every day. Uh, or sorry, not the horde mode. The, uh, the escape mode changes up every day how to get out and what the stage looks like. Um, but we were trying to do this. And the guy that we were with he would not just come with us. And it's like, well, we're trying to do this for speed, for time, and he refused to come with us. And so he die, he drops like three different times and we go get him each time. <laughs> oh yes, I love it. <laughs> um, then finally we get to the end. We're all three at the end. We hit the button. All the baddies are about to come out and try to get us. This fool runs back in to the hive no. And so he dies. We run out of the hive. We go pick him up and we all run back outside. Except I get caught and I drop right inside the doorway. He does not come out to try to save me. My friend does, but he gets dropped. And lo and behold, who does not come out to save either of us is this you know guy. It. You know it, yep. Uh -huh. guy. Dude, we just carried you through this whole thing and now he won't come save us and we're within arm's length. He just watched us as the door shut. I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> That's a special gaming moment in escape mode. I like that. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. I really love that they added that mode in. Of course, we knew they have a killer campaign with Kate Diaz continuing on, which I was excited about. Mm -hmm. And we know that the Horde mode and multiplayer are just awesome. But man, for them to show up escape mode was perfect because as you and I just experienced, you can get run through in multiplayer. And of course, oh, Horde yeah. mode is awesome. Sometimes you need a little switch up. And I think escape mode really hit that for me and my friends, which is yes, awesome. Definitely. Because so, again, like you said, we got we got rocked on <laughs> on versus. That's how it normally is for me when I play versus. And so I know a lot of games um, like I shy away from that aspect of it. Cause it's like, well, I'm not I'm not going to do well anyway. So let me just not play it. Um, but then that turns me off to like the whole game. So that's why I was so pumped with having horde mode, especially because I love horde mode. But then them throwing in escape mode. It's like, OK, dope. Now I have another mode that's like that's okay for me to, that, that, that will allow me to feel competent in this game that I just got. <laughs>
Who's got more game? You or Greg Miller? Of course, for oh, everybody listening out there, you all on. know Greg Miller. Who, who's got more come game? On. Is it you Literally or Greg me. Miller? Who's got Literally it? Really me. Come on, man. <laughs> who's got more ah. game? Looking. Yeah, I'm talking to a guy over here. He thinks. Oh, come on. I'm talking about Greg. Come on. Get him out of here. Greg, out of here. Yeah. Sit him down. Uh, I hope Greg hears that. Is right. Greg Miller, we're yeah, calling you out. True. Big dog is right. He knows. This what is, would be the one really game you want to square up on Greg Miller with? Like, is there a game that we can get you guys locked in on and you can go toe to toe with him? What what game do you think you could run on him in? On his best game. On his whatever his best game is. That's, That's like Pat upon two or something weird. I don't think he's even playing games. I'll do it. How about Tetris Connected? Have you got to play that with the launch window of the new Xbox? Yes. Played a little multiplayer with your friends. What it's do you think about Tetris Connected? I haven't messed with Tetris Connected. Oh, okay. It. Well, there's one for you. So I'm a big multiplayer guy. I love playing games with my yeah. friends. And I'll tell you, Tetris Connected is the move right now. Great music, awesome visuals, and just a great time to play with your friends. If you got 10, 20 minutes just to hang out and kick it, that's the move right now. Yeah. Okay. I'll check it out. I did start playing Tetris 99 again. because I. Oh, okay. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to be huh? mad all day. Let's talk about that because I'm a big Battle Royale guy. Where do you fall on the Battle Royales? Okay. Have you been on the new wave? Are you playing Fortnite, Call of Duty, you know, Apex, Tetris 99? What are you thinking about these Battle Royale games? The, the one that I'm probably best at is uh, is Apex, and I'm not very good at it at all. Okay. Um, with most Battle Royales, I'll play, but I, I it's hard for me to, like, dig into heavy because I'm not great at them. And uh, I do the gamer thing of... Uh, well, I don't see the point in dumping all this time and dig it good. So let's just play something else. Um, and I hate that I'm like that because, like, if I would just sit down and figure stuff out, then I'd be a little bit better. But um, so Battle Royales are hard for me. So that's why I was like, ah, Battle Royale Tetris. I don't know if I'm going to feel good. And then I felt real good. Oh, OK. You found it. You found that moment. I like that. Yeah. I was like, OK, cool. Like, I could I could survive in this possibly. And uh, then I realized uh, that was that was a mild fever dream that I must have had because I definitely cannot. But I'll sit. I'm the I'm the guy that sits and watches people play uh, on Twitch. So there's a guy Wombatize is his name. Shout out to Wombatize. I, I think he's got like a 96 percent win rate or something like that. Like, sorry if I if I marked you too low. Um, but watching people play competitive Tetris well. There is some exciting stuff in the world, but my God, competitive Tetris might be it. It might be the main thing. That might be the most exciting thing. <laughs> if you are watching and listening right now and you have not watched competitive Tetris in your day, you should because that is a special moment to watch right there. To see somebody's brain working that fast with their hand-eye coordination alongside yeah. that is incredible is right. It's, oh my gosh. It's a lot going on. What did you think about Microsoft and Bethesda teaming up here with this big acquisition? Are you a big Bethesda games guy? And what did you think about Bethesda coming to Microsoft here over the next year? I think it'll be interesting. I'm I'm curious to see how everything works out, but I know that it'll be nice uh, to have. Oh, we beat it. We beat it. Heck yeah, man. That was a yeah. good daily right there. You and yeah. I crushed perfect, that. That's right. Perfect. It's extra money in the pockets. Um, no, I think it'll be nice because uh, then Bethesda will have access to all of uh, Microsoft's things, which they have many of. So I'm interested to see what they come up with games wise and what they look like, what they're feeling like. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just, just another fingers crossed situation. All right, let's do some quick rapid fire questions to get you out of here. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Halo 2 or Halo 3? Mm, Unreal Tournament. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> He's just throwing that one out. I like that, I like that. All right, Gears 1. Through five, what's your favorite gear since we're playing it together right now? Five, easy, five. That's the one that I'm in. I like that. I like that. <laughs> favorite gaming moment that you can share with everyone? Uh, the first time I beat a game fully by myself. Uh, lived in an apartment in Dunwoody. It's me, my sister, my parents are in the apartment. I get to um, Eggman, Robotnik, if you will, uh, and I run, or I, I get up to space, and I run until my parents or my sister. Oh my god, like I'm gonna beat Sonic. I think this is the last part. They all come in and watch. I die like three times on Metal Sonic, and I finally get it, and I'm like, I beat it, yes, but then you fight big Robotnik in his big robot after that. I got knocked down to zero lives. 
last chance I had, I beat it. I screamed, I jumped up, my dad put me on his shoulders, my parents paraded me around the house and my sister like threw popcorn at me. It was like the happiest time of my life. And that's when I realized like, this must be what it like, what it's like for kids that play sports when they do well. Cause I didn't play sports at the time and I didn't know like what that feeling was, but I've seen it obviously. And then in TV, they're always like, oh, get them killer with the football games. And it's like, I just, that wasn't me at that point in time. And so it was like, wow, like video games can give me that. And that's kind of when I had my revelation of like, this is what I need to do with my life because I need to do something that involves this feeling. Oh, I love that. I, I guess I just want to end there because that is exactly how I want to <laughs> wrap up this time spent with you. Of course, this is the WWE superstar, Xavier Woods, a.k.a. Austin Creed, host of the world's number one gaming YouTube channel, Up, Up, Down, Down. Make sure to go over there, like, share, subscribe, you jabroni, and don't miss out on that incredible content. Of course, he is the kind of funny. Come in! One third of the new day, and of course, the new face of the G4 network, bringing you all the gaming news and fun you need to know about Austin Creed. I am blessed to have spent this afternoon with you. Thank you so much for joining me, Eric Courtney, and of course, my missing co-host and all of the kind of funny team and best friends here playing some Gears 5. You and the New Day are now live in multiplayer, in horde mode. You need to go out there and play it. It's on Game Pass. What are you doing? Go out there and have some fun. Any awesome parting words you want to say to me and the best friends? Stay in school. Don't be fools. Yeah. I love it. Cut it. We'll see you later. That was our special episode with Xavier Woods. That was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we'll see you next time on the Kind of Funny X-Cast.